Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. Often, code requirements will ask architects to place taller railings when on landings. Many Revit users will simply split the railing and create a different railing type on landings. But there's a much easier way to do it. In this example, we select the railing and click on Edit Type. Check the box called Use Landing Height Adjustment that will give you access to the landing height adjustment value. Let's try a value of 300mm and click on Apply. Let's try to modify the value, but this time try a value of 500 millimeters. A little issue we might have here is that the rail from the bottom run will extend to the high part, leaving a part of the landing with insufficient height. To fix the issue, we modify a railing parameter called tangent joints. We switch the value from extend rails to meet, instead we will use add vertical or horizontal segments. Click on apply. As you can see, a vertical segment will be placed at the beginning of the landing so the top rail height is consistent and respect the building code. There's another way to modify the height of a railing. You can modify individual segments. Let's edit the path of this railing. Select the railing purple path line. In the options bar, you will see the height correction parameter. Switch to custom, then type in a value. This value will override any value you have set in the railing type properties. Switch again to a higher value. You can see that this segment is now above the others. If you choose to use this setting, be careful because it can be hard to manage and monitor. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.